opening statement. Um, I want to thank Chairman Schuster for holding today's hearing on ExxonMobil oil spill in Montana's Yellowstone River. This, uh, this is a very timely hearing as the U.S. has unfortunately experienced a high number of pipeline raptured over the last few years that have caused significant environment dam damage, health concern, and death. I want to begin by expressing my deepest sympathy to the residents of Montana who are dealing with this aftermath of this tragic. As a resident of Florida, I know all too well that the devastating economy and emotional effects these fields can have on people. Most of the Gulf Coast is still cleaning up after the damage that was taking place a full year ago, and I can assure everyone here that they all just don't simply disappear and could easily return to our shores during another natural disaster. Tomorrow will be one year's anniversary of capping the BP spill, and I'm sure that we can use what we've learned in the spills to prevent the same mistakes from happening in Montana. I think we need not only ensure that ExxonMobil protect its pipelines from the river that is known to be moving fast and is following the law as it relates to pipeline safety, but that the company is also properly addressing the health and economic concerns of the people impacted by the spill. During the Enbridge spill in Michigan, we saw cases of people signing away all of their rights for air conditions. Unacceptable. We need to keep ExxonMobil feet to the fire, and we can't let them like this happen, things like this happen again to the American people. I want to also take this time to express my disappointment that the chairman discharged this committee from consideration of the bill that would force the president to make a key decision on whether to allow the Keystone Pipeline to be constructed. The, this Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure is the committee of primary jurisdiction over pipeline safety legislation and is the primary committee to refer for the Keystone legislation. There is still major concerns with this project, and at the same time, pipelines will be traveling around the Yellowstone River. This is being affected today by the Exxon spill. This should have been strongly vetted by this committee, and I join Ranking Member Ray Hall in urging the committee to hold and mark up of, on the legislation prior to the flood consideration, of the, of the floor consideration. It would be a disaster if a spill occurred on the pipeline, and this committee never held a hearing on it at all. When I was chair of the subcommittee on railroad pipeline and hazardous material, I held a series of five separate hearings concerning pipeline safety, which highlighted significant problems with reporting and inspection, as well as unhealthy relationship between the pipeline industry and the agency regulating them. In addition, much like the sewer and water infrastructure in this country, much of the pipeline infrastructure is reaching the end of this useful life, and we are going to need to make significant investments in improving these assets if we are going to accomplish the goals of both delivering critical patrolling to the states and protecting citizens from the danger of a hazardous pipeline spill and deadly explosions. We also need to develop new technology and strategies for improving safety in high populated areas that are now located above the aging pipeline. With the high unemployment rate in this country it is currently facing, we should be hiring and training inspectors and putting contractors to work replacing this aging pipeline in infrastructure in the United States. Gas and oil companies are making rapid profit while the infrastructure they're bringing this product to market become more and more unstable. I hope that these test testifying today will have some good ideas about how we can prevent future accidents and what Congress can do to immediately to improve the safety of the nation's pipeline. With that, I welcome today's panelists and thank you for joining us. I'm looking forward to uh, the hearing and their testimony.